Welcome to Gray eLearning. In this session, I will ex I will explain how to convert a color image into gray image and also how to convert a color image into binary image by using a MATLAB software. Let me start with MATLAB. And uh, so it is a continuation of my previous video. In my last video, I discussed how to read a color image. So let me start a new coding. So I'll start with a new script. I'll always start with the, the basic three command, CLC, close and clear. So now I just want to read an image, read a color, read color image, how we can read a color image. Let me just use the command, I am read and make sure that what's your image name. That's the image is called Lena dot and a PNG. So I will read and after that I will display this image and the figure I am show as an image one. And also you can put a title for each image. This is called color image. So let me save my program by using save and it's, we can save with the program uh, convert. It's basically to convert the image. So let me start. Let me run the code. So you see here, we open a color image and it's simply displaying the color image. Now, next, I want to convert this given color image, convert the color image into grayscale image. So grayscale image, which is consists of only one channel, each pixel will be represented by using a. So there is an inbuilt command in MATLAB to convert a color image into to grayscale image. So let us save this grayscale image as an image two, which is equal to RGB. It's a color image, RGB to gray and image one. So it's already converted into, into grayscale image. And let us just display this particular image figure I am show and uh, this image too. And you can also give a title for this image. It's called gray image. First one is the color image. The second one is gray image. Let us just save. So now you see here, we have a color image. Other one is the gray image. And if you want to save this gray image, you can use a command, I am right. And what's your image name? It's image two and you have to give a name for the image. Maybe I can save this as a Lena G, G for stand for the gray image, dot PNG. So I save. So what will happen once you run this code, there will be, it will create a new image called Lena G. It will be saved in the same folder. So let us just run it. Now you can see this image is already created. Now the next one, we should know how to convert this grayscale image so convert into binary image. Convert into binary image. Binary image is also known as a black and white image. Each pixel will be represented by using only one, pic, one bit. So it will have only two color, either white or black. So let us save this as an image three. That will be, there is an inbuilt command, im2 black and white. Select your image, this is image two, and you have to mention what should be your intensity value. Let me take intensity value, the kind of the threshold. We can not the intensity threshold value. I can take any value threshold value between zero to one. So I selected the middle. So let us just uh, run this code. So for simplicity, what I can do, I can copy the code from the first line and paste and just change the name. So image, this is image three. And this is known as a binary image. Binary image. And let us just run it. So now you see here, this is the, the third image, which is a binary image. And uh, in this binary image, if you want to save the binary image, you can say and use the same command, I am right. I am right. And here, this image three, and you can save as a Lena B. B stands for the blacks. So we'll save it. Okay. 
Now, if I want, if you want to modify this particular image threshold, this 0.5, you can save this as a threshold, THR uh, threshold, this value. You can put any value. Example, if I am putting threshold, it's a higher value, it's 0.8. I can, uh, for shortcuts, I can use a threshold as a TH. So you can use the TH here. So what will happen? The threshold shifted into the left side. So if your threshold is sh shifted to the left side, you see how will be the, what will be the difference to the grid? The majority will be in the dark pixel. Or if you shifted it is to, to the left side, just put it a 0.2 or 0.3, the threshold value. Okay, you see it. The most of the information will be the into, into the white color the pixel binary so you in a, in a, an average or in the middle normally use the middle values as a 0.5 and once now we have all these three images if you want to display all these three images in the same window you can use a command is called subplot so how we can just let us save as a new figure it's a figure or you can even you can give the number for the first figure as a figure one and a figure one you can give any number one two three or ten twenty forty so second figure and third figure and fourth figure you can save just like the figure four and here i want to display so i will use a subplot and i will use a size 2, 2. So there will be two rows and the two columns. So you can represent four images and here it is the first images. So two stand for the number of uh, rows. First two represent number of rows, number of columns and the, it's a first image. So let us just save this as a IM show of image one. Now let us continue for the other two. So what I can do, I'll copy and uh, write it two more times, I will modify the image, the second image and the third image. So it's image two and image three. So let us just run after that we'll modify. Now you see here, I, we have an original image, we have a grayscale image and a binary image. I can even modify, I can give a title for each one and I want to represent the gray and the binary image in the second row and only the, the the first color image in the in the first row, but it should be the middle. How I can modify? If you want to modify, I will use instead of one, use one. Two. So it's combining the first and second location and other ones you will put here, three, third and fourth image. And also you can just give a title for each image. The first image you can give a title as a color image, color image, any title what you prefer, you can just give. The second one you can just give as a gray image and the last one you can just give a title it is called binary image so let us just run the code and so you can see we just last figure is shown how we can and display multiple image in the in the same window so by using the subplot in my next video, I'm going to explain what are the significance of each channel of in a color images, what is how I can represent the image, how I can split a color image into RGB and how I can display the images. Thank you for watching the video.